good afternoon good evening and good morning wherever you're watching me from welcome back to lazy miss kitchen so if today is your first time of joining my channel you're very welcome i love you so much thank you so much for coming to check what i'm doing in my kitchen and um, if you're one of my subscribers you are loved okay i love you so much Thank you for always sticking with me. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if today is your first time of coming to check on me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, also hit the bell sign beside it. That bell notifies you whenever I upload my videos so you won't miss out on any of my videos, okay? Thank you so much, thank you. So today I'm going to be preparing a very mouth-watering delicacy. Yes, yeah, so I'm cooking Ofe Ugu. So if you're from eastern part of Nigeria, yes, you should know about this soup. It's a very delicious soup. You can enjoy the soup with you. Ah, ooh, your pounded yam, your semolina or semovita, yes, any solo of your choice. But as for me, I choose to enjoy with ah, ooh. But in Europe, I can't find that now, so I'm going to manage my pounded yam. <laughs> so that's it. So thank you so much for staying with me, and let me introduce you guys to our ingredients. Okay, maybe you've not heard of this soup before, I don't know, but I know my Anambra people knows of this soup. Yes, if you're from Anambra, say hello. <laughs> so thank you so much and let's get started. I love you. Thank you. These are ingredients for this recipe, yeah? So I have my salt and tuna cubes. I have my cow foot, okay. I have my cow um, tripe, my oxtail, my beef, stock fish, dried fish, my cow skin, my palm cream, my crayfish, my pepper, and um. The castor seed, that's the paste. Have it in here, the black one. And also I have my cuckoo flour. So I couldn't get the, the fresh one, so I decided to buy this one. It's all good. So guys, this is my vegetable. This is my ugu leaf. You should know about this leaf, yeah? So we are going to be, I'm going to be plucking that one by one yay so guys let's get started i have lots of work to do in here cook my just just have a look have lots of work to do so they're very fresh so guys let's get started well i have to place my pots okay i own my cooker and start introducing all my meats here. Yeah, I've already washed everything. Okay, so you should do same. So I place everything inside the pot. And I'm going to add this as well, okay? I'm gonna be adding a generous amount of water. Yeah. Salt. And of course, the knock cube. I'm adding two of it, okay? 
and we have one left. So guys, I'm going to be covering it up to cook for 20 minutes. So guys, I have to start plucking my vegetable, okay? This is real abite. We call it abite in this country. It's real work. So I'm gonna just be fast with that. Okay. I love this vegetable a lot. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to be washing everything with salt and cold water. Yes, so So guys, I'm done plucking them. So I'm going to be washing that with cold water. First of all, I have to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Okay. So when I'm done washing, I'll start cutting the vegetables, okay? So guys, I am done cutting my vegetables, okay? I'm done cutting them. This is what we got. Yeah, this is my fresh ogu leaves. Do you see that? So fresh. So we have to go now and check if our meat is done cooking. So we have to let it continue cooking, okay? As you can see, the whole water in here has dried up and our meat is done also. So now I have to introduce my palm nut cream, okay? have to give it a stir and cover to cook for another seven minutes okay yep did you see that hey oh my goodness guys so it's been cooking for seven minutes now we have to reduce it okay so now I'm going to add my cookyam paste here. Please, if you have the fresh cookyam, then just use it. I couldn't get the fresh one, so that's why I'm using this one. Okay, this is the pack. Cookyam flour. Yes. So I'm going to give that a very good stir. I have my crayfish, my pepper, and my ogivi. That is the castor seed, that's the paste. Okay, so I've mixed everything together. So I'm gonna add it right now. Add my water, my dried fish. So 
So I'm gonna cover that up right now. And let it cook for another 15 minutes. Yes, because of the cocoa yam, so everything will get done. Yeah? It's been cooking for 15 minutes now. So I'm gonna be adding my salt and the remaining cubes, okay? Poto, 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 poto. Can you hear that? The sound. So I'm gonna taste for salt. I'll be adding more salt, okay? Not add everything. Give it a very good stir. Wow. Guys, I haven't used this thing before, this kokoyam paste. Wow. This is good, ne? Wow. I always buy the, the the fresh one, but this is good. It's perfect. So I cover that up. Let it cook for another seven minutes, yeah? Seven minutes gone. I have to clean this up. My car is gonna off right now, I know. So this is typical Igbo soup, yeah? Very, very typical. If you can cook Ora soup, Onubu soup, that's bitter leaf soup, you can as well cook this one. The difference there is just the vegetables, yeah? So, I'm going to be introducing my vegetables right now. My Ogu leaves. So I'm gonna give it a stir. Guys, did you see that? Oh, oh Jesus. Hmm. I can't cook my soup without all this cow food and everything. Eh? It's a chunk, I am an italian. So I have to add more ogo. Yeah. So guys, that's it. This is Ogo soup. Pumpkin soup. The Igbo way. Let me zoom in a little bit. This is Ogo soup. -o. The Igbo way. vegetables so guys and we are done cooking we are done cooking yeah so I am dedicating this beautiful soup this mouth watering soup to my beautiful sister, Sister Chinyere, flow of all Nigerian recipe. 
yes so guys i am done cooking right now okay we are done cooking so if you if you add the vegetables that's the ogu leaves please bring it down immediately so it wouldn't continue cooking okay so i am dedicating the soup to chinyere of all nigerian recipe yes she's a darling she has helped me as in when she shared my okra soup i got 1800 views within 48 hours i feel like breaking into my neighbor's doors you know bum, bum, bum. from today onwards call me celebrity i'm now a celebrity i got 1800 views that is awesome that is beautiful okay so thank you so much my sister i dedicate this beautiful soup this beautiful soup i dedicate it to you you are a darling although you're not here to eat it too you're not here to eat it but you know this soup now so this is dedicated to you i love you we didn't finish everything <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. I hope you tried this recipe. Okay, and let me let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this beautiful mouth watering recipe. Thank you so much, and see you guys in my next episode. And please don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell sign after subscribing. Um, that to notify you whenever I upload my videos. I love you. Bye bye.